Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, they came to me, this is, uh, it kind of coincided when I spoke from the Rose Garden when I said, we're a nation that's turned its back on God and we need to get back in the Word and spend time, uh, um, you know, with our Bibles and family. And and, uh, and I really believe with, uh, with where we're at, that we're, this is the time for the greatest revival in history. And then I was approached by uh, uh, Rabbi Jonathan Kahn and Kevin Jessup, and they said, you know, we're going to have this National Day of Prayer and Repentance on on uh, April, or on September 26th, and would you like to be a part of it? And, he, and I'm, I'm going, yeah, you know what? You need repentance before you get revival. And we've even, uh, so I went all in. I'm donating all my proceeds. I mean, any, anybody that donates to my to this cause will go to, um, um, for, they get my free copy of my book, $25 or more, and they I'm putting all that money in, 100%. So they, um, I really believe in this return. And then after that, that's the day I'm going to announce my Lindell Recovery Network, which is going to help addicts across the country and help millions of people and be part of this greatest revival ever. Yeah, it's extraordinary what you're doing there, uh, helping the cause as well. Um, but Mike, oh. you yourself, you're pretty outspoken about what life was like before your successes, of course, being a former right. drug addict turned millionaire. You know, you were able to beat your addiction. It's a remarkable transformation, by the way. Uh, how did you find your light, so to speak, and how will that message resonate with others? Well, the you know, I was a, I was a cocaine crunk, functioning cocaine addict, then a crack cocaine addict, and on January 16, 2009, by the way, I even had drug dealers do an intervention on me at one time. They said, uh, you know, they wanted me, I'd been up for 14 days, they said, you're going to sleep. Uh, well, you know, they, they had believed in me, they wanted, uh, um, I, I kept telling them my pillow was just a big platform for God, and someday I would come back and help them all. And they and they believed me, and I was there. And uh, so when I quit everything, January 16, 2009, I had, um, you know, by the grace of God, I prayed to God. I said, I want to wake up and never have the desire again, which I did. But a couple months later, I went to our faith-based treatment center at our church, and I learned a lot of why I was an addict in the first place. And I replaced all these. I come from a divorced family back when uh, divorces weren't common. So in, in, uh, I was the only kid from a divorced family in our school. And I would either be very shy or I would show up. And, I, and the devil gets in lies there. Oh, you're not worthy. Um, you're not good enough. Uh, I had fear of rejection and all these things. And I, so if you don't talk to people, you don't, you don't have to worry about getting rejected. Well, this... Um, and uh, but I, that's why all the faith-based treatment centers work. They replace it with God. They replace it with Jesus. The, these wounds and you got your teen challenges, your Salvation Armies, your Union Gospels. The, this is what works for addicts. You know, in our country, we have we have laws on the books in like 30 some states where in order to treat an addict or counsel an addict, you have to go to college for four years, uh, swim the ocean, and you know do all these things. This bureaucracy. Well, that's what addicts don't need that. What they need is they need someone that's made it through and that that's who I want being a, my counselor. And that's what my network is going to do. It's like, uh, you know, I want someone that's made it through. How did they make it? They're my, I call them hope matches. And we're going to, you know, when I quit everything and and um, I ended up in the White House, I'll never forget to sit next to the president the first time I was ever invited to the White House. And all my friends are going, what? What is this sex crack addict sitting there in the White House next to the president? Jesus is real because there's no way this is possible. And uh, with God, all things are possible. And that's, uh, and by the way, my book is going to actually help so many people too. You read it. It's not just about addiction. It's entrepreneur, never giving up having hope, having faith, and um, and it's, uh, it's going to change a lot of lives. I kind of want to tease this, but you're going somewhere special today, and you're meeting a, a someone special. Yeah, yeah, we're having a, I'm, you know, I'm chairman of the Minnesota Trump campaign, and we're having a rally in Bemidji, Minnesota today. I'm looking forward to going up there and, and interacting with the crowd. I'm going to go up there three hours early. I like talking to people. I've, uh, you know, I've said I'm a, uh, I'm uh, pretty pretty sure I'm, that I'm going to run for governor. I've, uh, everyone keeps telling me, Mike, you got to run, you got to run, and that would be 2022. But right now, we got a president that needs to win. We need to get him elected. The most important election in history we're in. Well said. Well, Mike Lindell, CEO of My Pillow, looking forward to hearing more about your book and the event. I'm sure we will touch base shortly in the future. Thanks. God bless. Thanks for having me on. Thanks so much. Want to see more videos like this? 
Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.